Hey and welcome to the tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this Skrillex logo inside Microsoft Word. So the top one is an image, the bottom one is the logo created inside Microsoft Word. So let's get started. I will jump to my blank document where I already have this logo pasted in. I will most likely open the former properties and just make some you know, color adjustments to the image, make it a little bit more faded, just so it's not getting in our way. So there are two ways how to create this logo. We can either trace those lines using the you know line tool or, or custom shape tool which is the freeform tool but there is this problem that those endings are not always the same for example there is this slanted angle on the letter k so probably the better way is to find such some shape which has this slanted end already in there and there is one in there if i select insert shapes there is this uh, bottom shape which is named uh, flowchart manual input the problem with this shape is that you cannot just you know set the slanted angle because there is no like a yellow handle which you usually see for the other shapes so what we have to do is we have to manually set the angle by just you know resizing the shape so if it's, if the shape is really small the angle is really small and if the shape is bigger the angle is bigger as well so I think that this is just about right. As you can see, the bottom slanted angle is fine, but there is something missing on top. So what I can do is I can just copy paste this shape and move it up on top. Maybe we what I can do is I can just change this shape to a rectangle just so I don't you know, have this shape. It probably doesn't matter that much. So that's the rectangle. I will copy paste this rectangle and rotate it by 45 degrees by just uh, pressing the shift key on my keyboard and make this just a tiny bit smaller like this. I will make some fin fine adjustments of the position you know, using the arrow keys on my keyboard. Then I will copy paste this again, move it on the right spot and again use the arrow keys on my keyboard. I will probably copy this shape, I can just hold the, you know, press the Ctrl C and Ctrl V or I can just hold the Ctrl key on my keyboard and move it in here which will create a copy as well. I will, create, I will duplicate this shape, seems about the same size and this shape. This also seems to be the same size, but uh, just in case, I'll make it a little bit smaller. I will copy maybe this shape, rotate by, oh sorry, not move the image. I don't want to move the image, but I want to just select this shape and rotate it by, oh no, okay. So one more time, rotate this shape by 90 degrees, move it around here, just like this. And of course, resize it to match the other shapes. It will be easier for us later on when we don't have the outline, but you know, let's just make those smaller adjustments later on. So I will copy this shape with a slanted angle and you can see clearly see that the angle is a little bit bigger in here. So I will resize the shape around like this, move it to the right spot, you know, duplicate it one more time for the second L letter. This is the L, sorry, this is the circle. Okay, this is the L letter, this is the I letter. So I will rotate by 90 degrees, oh, sorry, 180 degrees. Again, I'm holding the shift key. I will copy paste those two shapes, which are for some unknown reason being pasted to the very beginning of the document. I will move them to the same position. Again, I can probably use the change shape uh, function to change this to rectangles. Probably not that much needed. I will copy paste this shape for the letter E. I need this one, but it should be of course much smaller. And I need the one rotated by 45 degrees, so I can probably reuse the ones which are already being uh, rotated, so I don't need to rotate a new shape. Same for this one. Okay, so I'll move it down here, seems to be the same size. For the one part of the letter X, I need the slanted version of the rectangle, so I'll use this one. Again, it's even much more, you know, even more slanted, so I'll resize it like this. Use this one for the second part of the X letter, and probably duplicate this one once more and change it to rectangle. And of course, make it smaller just so it doesn't. Uh, go over the slanted part. Okay, so the only missing part is the letter S, which is kind of tricky because we have to use this slanted version of the rectangle, rotate it by 45 degrees and then resize it just to, so the, you know, so the bottom part is at the 45 degree angle like this. Then again, I will copy paste this, change this to rectangle, 
like this and reuse you know shapes from the other letters maybe this one in here and this one for the bottom part okay so when we have all those shapes in place i will select i will probably select the show selection pane hide the image then i will select the select objects tool select all the objects and set the outline to be no outline and the fill to be I believe it was black with the L and uh, Y letters being red, I believe. So I will select those letters in the middle and change the fill color to be red. Then I will zoom back in and make sure that everything is being aligned properly. So I make some fine adjustments using my arrow keys on my keyboard to make sure that everything is being lined up properly. So for example, this shape has to be moved a little bit to the bottom. Oh, sorry to the top this shape more to the bottom but our overall i think that we are we are getting great we are doing great so again select objects select all the objects i will group everything together zoom out as much as i can move it down and show the original image and i will most likely reset the colors so i will s click this reset uh, colors button or reset picture button and that's it, that's how you create a Skrillex logo in Microsoft Word. There's also the other way, which is even faster and simpler. And that is to use a custom font, which you can download from the font. The font is named uh, Scary Glyphs and Nice Characters, which is obviously related to the album called Sky Monsters and Nice Sprites. So if you download this uh, font and just, you know, type in Skrillex in Word. I will set the size to be much bigger, maybe 150, and set the font to be nice or it was scary, scary glyphs. I have to set the kerning or enable the kerning just so the X letter is closer to the other letters. I will probably disable the spell checking. There is also the whole uh, logo in one character, and the character is the and symbol so if I type in and I will get the entire logo there is a little bit of difference of the position of the letters but they're just a minor one if you type you know individual letters you can still set the color you cannot set the color for this logo because this is just one clip and that, that's really it that's how you create a Skrillex logo in Microsoft Word thanks for watching